Hey fellow designers, it's Karen of Made by Karen M. Today we're going to be learning how to take measurements. So whether you are a client collecting your own measurements to send off to get a dress made, or if you're a designer and you're wondering what measurements should I be taking, how do I take them in order to get a good fit for your client, this is the video for you. These are all the measurements that I take to make sure that my garments have an amazing fit for my clients. So the first thing I do is I start off by asking them for their height, just for reference. I always want to have that on record. And then I also ask what size bra they wear. This is just in case I need to build support into the dress. Like if I'm going to buy a store-bought bra to put into the dress or if I'm going to buy bra cups, I always want to know what size cup do they typically wear. Next, we're going to move into the actual measurement. So make sure you always start by holding your measuring tape at the beginning. And then you're going to take it, wrap it around. So this is the bust measurement. You're going to wrap it around the fullest part of your breast. So for me, wherever it meets back at the beginning of the tape, that's what the number is. So for me, my measurement is 36 inches for bust. Next thing you're gonna do is measure the under bust. Under bust is self-explanatory. It's literally right under your breast. So you're gonna measure around right underneath and wherever it meets, that's the measurement. So for me, I'm getting 31 inches. Next thing you're gonna do is measure your bust front. Bust front is a way to tell how big your chest is compared to your back. So imagine if you have on a bra, which I do encourage people when they get their measurements taken to wear a bra. Um, wherever the side of the wire is or the side of the cup is, that's where you wanna start measuring. And then you go all the way to the other side and find the end of the other cup. And so for me, I'm getting 17 inches. So that's my bust front measurement. Next thing we're gonna do is measure the waist. So you're gonna find your midsection. Typically, I do mines where the navel is. That's usually where the smallest part of your waist is. I also suck in a little bit, squeeze a little bit. So for me, I'm getting 30 inches for my waist measurement. Next, hip measurement. So for your hips, you're going to measure around the widest part of your hips and butt. And for me, I'm getting 43 and a half inches. So if you look, you can see what level the measuring tape is for me, right around the widest part of your hips and butt. Next, you're going to measure your hip back, similar to how we measured the bust front. This is to help me understand how much bigger in proportion uh, to your total hip, how much bigger is your butt by itself. So, and the reason I do this is to see if I can do the front and the back skirt with stretch fabric to see if I can do it the same size or if I need to actually make the back bigger. So you're just gonna imagine like if you are measuring from the side seam, go from one side of your hip slash butt to the other side. And for me, I'm getting a total of 23 inches. That is my hip back measurement or butt measurement. Next, we're gonna measure the thigh. The reason that I started measuring this is because some people, their hips is the widest part of their leg and then it tapers in. But I have had um, some clients where they have a little extra meat in the thigh area and so their thighs might be a little bit wider than their hips. And that's very important to know, especially um, if you're making like a non-stretch garment. So when I measure my thighs, I get a measurement of 40 inches. Again, you're just seeing where the measuring tape meets itself. And um, also I measure the knee area, about three inches above the knee. So for me here, I'm getting 29 inches. Now, if you're getting pants done, then thigh and knee will have a different definition. So if you're doing pants, and you need the thigh measurement, you're gonna measure around the thickest part of one leg. For me, I'm getting 26 inches. And then you're going to measure right above your knee and mine is 17 inches. So that's thigh and knee if you're doing pants. Next, you're gonna do 
your shoulder to under bust measurements. So shoulder to under bust front is the first measurement, shoulder to under bust side is the second measurement. Shoulder to under bust front, you're gonna take your measuring tape, place it right at the top of your shoulder. Then you're gonna measure over the front of your breast and find where the bottom of your boob is. So for me, I'm getting 13.5 inches. See how it's over the front? Then you're going to measure down the side of your breast instead to the bottom. So for me, I'm getting 12 inches. So shoulder to under bust side for me is 12 inches and shoulder to under bust front for me is 13 and a half inches. That's a difference of 1.5 inches. And that's very important for me to know in case I need to do a dart on the side of the um, bodice pattern. Next, waist to hip. Did I do shoulder to waist already? Okay, I'll do shoulder to waist first. So shoulder to waist, you're just gonna measure from the top of your shoulder to your waist level. And for me, I'm getting 16 inches. On average, it's 16 inches for a lot of people. Um, taller people might be 17, 18. Shorter people might be 15, 14 and a half. Um, so it's just important to know what this length is so you know how long to make the top of your dress pattern. Next, you're gonna measure hip to, sorry, waist to hip. So you're gonna go again from belly button level to the level of the widest part of your hip. And for me, I'm getting eight inches. And that is what I consider to be average. Again, taller people might be longer. It might be nine inches, it might be 10 inches. So important to note that as well. Oh. This is another one around the bust. So we're gonna do shoulder to bust apex, front and side. Bust apex is basically the uh, part of your boob that like sticks out the most. So you're gonna measure from your shoulder and then I'll measure to here. So for me, I'm getting 11.5. That's where my bust apex front is. Or actually it's more like 11. That's where my bust apex front is. And then for the side, you're gonna measure from here to here and for me I'm getting five inches kind of like where the nipple would be next you're going to do knee to floor and hip to floor this is important especially if you're doing gowns so I'm trying to make sure y'all can see that here So when I say knee to floor on a gown, I'm going to start flaring the gown about three inches above the knee, which is like right here. So when I measure knee to floor, I'm starting up here and then I'm going to go all the way down to the bottom of my foot. And for me, I'm getting 22 inches and then I'm going to do the same thing for the hip. And if it's difficult for you to like reach all the way down there, you can also step on your measuring tape like that and make sure it's coming up straight. And for me, I'm getting 32 inches from hip to floor. Next, if you're getting sleeves, you wanna make sure that you measure your arms. So you're gonna measure the length of your arm from shoulder to wrist. So as you can see, my wrist, where my wrist is bending is like 21 inches so that's my arm length and then for your bicep you're going to measure around the thickest part of your arm for me i'm getting 13 inches and then for your wrist you're going to measure around the smallest part of your wrist and mine is about six inches Um, next, you're going to do back width. Width. It's a difficult word to say. So when I measure someone's back, I just measure like in between their shoulder blades from one side to the other. And for me, I'm getting 13 inches. 
Next, cleavage depth. That's important if someone's getting like a certain amount of cleavage they want on their dress. I just hold the measuring tape at their shoulder and I tell them to point to like how deep they want their dress to be cut. So if they point here, then I'm just gonna look and go over and that's looking like 11 and a half inches. But it just depends on how deep they want it. Cause if they say they want it down here, then that's like 13 and a half inches. It just depends. Shoulder to armpit, start at the top of the shoulder and measure down to where the armpit level is. For me, it's eight inches. Above bust, if someone's getting a strapless dress, I tell them to put their arms up and I measure around this part of their body. And for me, I'm getting 33 inches. Split to floor, if someone's getting a split, I tell them point on your leg, how high up you want your split to come. And then I just stick the measuring tape there and measure all the way down to the floor, to wherever your foot is. So for me, for if I do my split like here, that's 27 and a half inches. Um, and also train length. So when I have my clients in person, I tell them to turn around like this and I will either like let the train, um, I'll either let the measuring tape extend all the way on the floor um, from their foot all the way to the back, or I'll have them like hold it up like this and tell me how long they want it. And I say, this entire measuring tape is 60 inches, how long do you want it? And then they'll usually say like, oh, well, let's do 50 or let's do um, 45 or something like that. So that's a good way to figure out what the train length is. On my mermaid gown pattern, it's 40 inches. So um, if I have them hold it like this, I'll just point on my measuring tape what 40 inches looks like so they have a reference of how long I usually cut the dress and then they can tell me whether they want it longer or shorter. So those are all of the measurements that I typically take. Um, if someone is getting a dress that has like special measurements involved, I might have to measure something else. But for the most part, I take these measurements every single time I measure anybody. Um, if I know they don't have sleeves, of course, I'm not going to measure their arms, but collecting all of these has really helped me. Uh, if you're a designer, it's helped me to look over my um, previous clients and come up with like similarities. And that's how I came up with my size chart. But again, these are all the measurements I take to get a good fit. So um, hopefully this video was helpful for you. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see y'all next time.